Okay, hey, it's Mickey here. So we're gonna go continue uh, to. We're gonna go install our new belt. That's what we're gonna do. So, if you guys want to see what happened to my belt? I I made a separate video about it for my belt vlog. But um, this is a uh, this is the new belt. Let me turn this off so you guys can see. It. This is the new belt right here. It's a Gates Power GT3. That's what I'm gonna use. I bought this on eBay. It's a special belt. It's a, it's one millimeter wider than the stock belt. I just measured it. This is 16 millimeter and this is 17 millimeter. It's only one millimeter difference, so I don't really think it makes a difference, honestly. Um, but maybe it does. And this is made by Conti Tech or Continental, and this is made by Gates. Um, I kind of prefer the Gates belts more, um, but Con the Conti Tech belt is a good belt. So you can see how it failed. Teeth came out. Okay. Um, I think what happened is uh, I didn't. I was not tightening the belt. And it was too loose, and then it got like too hot and stuff. It would skip, it would skip on the teeth, and then and the teeth came out. One tooth came out, two teeth came out, then then a whole bunch of teeth came out, and then 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 that's what happened. So you can see half the belts are half the teeth are gone on this belt. <laughs> it's a little souvenir right there. It didn't break though. The belt didn't break, so it's a pretty tough belt. All right, so these are kind of hard to find. Um, is what I'm gonna say. You can only buy it from places that sell Sauron parts. Okay, um, it's a special. It's a pretty special belt. Like, no, I don't think anybody else really uses this belt. So, all right. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and install this bad boy now. Okay. So go ahead and get your jack shaft. The jack shaft out. Um, I just changed the sprocket on it. The the counter shaft sprocket. If you uh, if you want to learn how to change this this doohickey right here, the sprocket. Um, I have I, I made a separate video for that. It's not hard at all, um, but it's it's one of those things like hey I'm already here. Let's just go do it, you know. Um, so don't forget to inspect your sprocket or pulley to make sure it's in good shape. Still, this one is still in great shape. Uh, make sure you have the uh, the spacer here. There's a spacer on each side, and there's a seal here. Make sure those aren't damaged. Okay. Yep. Nope. They look good. Um, maybe one thing you might want to do is take your take your swing arm axle. Okay, just decide to up and walk away from me. Um, go ahead and uh, stick that in there. Okay, and make sure it spins smoothly. If it doesn't, maybe your bearings are messed up. It you know, to tell you the truth, it doesn't really feel like it's very smooth. <laughs> it's just, it feels a little it feels a little rocky. I think it'll be okay. Um, if if it if it like doesn't spin, then you got a problem. Uh, yeah, but anyway, it's going to be under tension, so it pushes on the bearings. So you're going to want to push on the bearings and then spin it. And if it doesn't spin smoothly, like that, see it's spinning smoothly. Um, you need to replace the bearings in this. Okay, I don't really know where to get them. I think you can get them at eBikezilla. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so so it's it, everything all checks out. It looks good. There's no damage on the pulley. We'll put it back. Okay, so okay. Uh, go get your new belt. This is the uh, the Gates belt that I just got. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it so you can read the belt from the outside. It doesn't matter. You can put it either way. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it so you can read the belt from the outside. Sort of. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fish that belt into the motor. in there all right and then you're gonna want to put your jack shaft back in um, with the big pulley on the left okay there's a small one and there's a big one you want the big one on the left obviously <laughs> just put it back the way you found it I'm gonna go underneath here okay <laughs> I 
he's, he's having some problems here. Okay, so there's some washers here on the on the linkage. Don't lose them. I just one of them just fell off. Okay, uh, it stays in the center. I would say just take those washers off for now, before so you don't lose them. Okay, so there's one on each side. Okay, just take that off. You can leave the spacer in there, but just so you don't lose it, it'll be easier to put the swing arm on too. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is get your get your jack shaft, lift the swing arm up so you can get it in there. Uh, there's not a lot of room in there, man. That's everything fits in there like precise. Oh, one thing one thing that's making this difficult is this little. This little crossbar here I, I have, have this foot peg support bar here. This this is making it more difficult for me to put this back in. I'm not gonna lie, I almost want to take it out, but uh, I I got it out with it there, so I want to try. You can pull pull the swing arm out so you get enough room to get it in there. Okay, don't pull it too much because you'll pull your brake line out. <laughs> okay, and then get this in there. Okay. Get this in there. There we go. Okay. This has to go. You have to get this in the pulley first. Over the pulley. Get the get the belt around. Where you, the belt's already getting dirty. It's probably a good idea to clean your bike before you do this. <laughs> By the way. Um, First, I would wrap it around the, the big pulley first, because there's not a lot of room to work with. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, he's making it struggling. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. It's some somehow it just everything all fell into place. Make sure those all those spacers are in there too. Okay, now put your swing arm back, and it, everything just kind of magically goes back into place. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Yeah. Okay. And make sure, so remember the jack shaft has to be in between the swing arm and then you got to push the swing arm into place, okay? Now, uh, before, I, I guess before you line everything up, oh yeah, let me, hold, hold on, before we do this, be very, just very gently keep the swing arm down like that. Uh, before, uh, before I uh, put this back in, I'm going to grease it real quick. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go grease. I should have done it first. So if I was to do this again, before we even put the pulley back in, I would have just greased this already. So there's already grease on it, but I'm going to add more. Okay. I'm going to use uh, some just automotive grease. Okay. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of grease and slather it all over it. Like an axle. It's basically what it is. It's an axle. Grease and max. Let's put a light coat on it. You're probably going to wind up pushing a lot of it on the other end. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go wipe my hands clean for a minute. It's clean grease. So. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, I just greased the axle. Be very careful not to get any dirt on it because the dirt will get in there. Okay. So, line up your swing arm to the hole in the frame, okay? But don't push it in all the way yet. because It, it won't go in, trust me, because not, not everything is lined up. Okay. There we go. Okay, now you got to line up your jack shaft. It kind of helps if you kind of look through the window. Through the hole first. And then... I know it's it's a real bitch trying to get all this stuff lined up now. <laughs> Everything is like precise, you know. Okay, there we go. This is me today. This is the hardest part. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and the wa and the and the spacers. Make sure the spacers are still in there. Oh, I think one of them are gone. Yeah, I lost a spacer. Okay. Boy, now I got dirt all over it. Okay, I need to take it out again because one of the spacers fell off. Okay, so we definitely don't want this to come out. 
Okay, the other one is still on there. I can see it, but okay, I gotta take it out again or somehow finagle it. So, but anyway, leave this in here. Leave that in there because you got one of the things in there, and then just carefully, carefully kind of take this pulley back, pull the pulley back, and then put the sprocket, uh, put the spacer back in. The spacer fell out. I'm trying to put it back while it's on there still. Oh, I dropped it again. I'm getting I'm sure you what I'm working with here. Okay, so while it's in there, I'm trying to get this spacer in there. Um, I guess what I can do is just take the belt off again. But there should, there might be enough room where we can just shove it in there. Oh, falling off. Oh. This is so, oh, this is so hard. Might have to just take it out again. Ah, oh. ah, oh. what a freaking nightmare, dude. <sighs> okay, let's just take it out again, then. Let's move this up all the way. I think that might be enough room for me to get it in there. Yes, okay. I forced a bunch of dirt inside. Right. Just barely, just, just barely enough room to get this in here. There we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> you see that? I just got it in there. All right, now we can put everything back together. Hopefully. Put the belt back on. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, here we go. Round two. Make sure you watch that spacer. Make sure the spacer don't fall off. So line everything up. Push this in. It's very hard to see if the big pulley is uh, is in the right spot. So let me see. Might have to just take a look at everything. So it kind of needs to go up. There we go. No. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do to kind of make this easier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick a uh, a punch on the other side here while everything is all lined up. Okay, this one shouldn't be. Okay, so everything is all lined up. Sort of kind of. It's sort of kind of lined up. Okay, so that way that won't fall out. That one's in there already. Okay, so definitely put a punch on the other side and it makes it easier. Okay, now now you're going to have to play this game with like getting all this stuff lined up. So the other side is kind of lined up, and now you want to see line this inside there that the pulley is more that way. So i got to pull the pulley this way. I need to pry it back. I think it's, a th it's at like the loosest already, man. Let me see if I... Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pry bar here in the motor and pry it upward. Yeah, that will distance it. Okay, good. Okay, should line up now. Okay, good. So all right, here's here's what I did. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so the problem here is the the motor isn't isn't set loose enough. It's too it was too tight. When when this slider is all the way up, it's at its loosest. When it's all, when it's all the way loose, when it's all the way loose, it's all the way up. When it's uh, when it's all the way tight, it's all the way down. Okay, so I had it all the way down, and it's not really easy to move this motor. You know, the one way to move it, I think, is to use this adjuster block here and pull up on it. Okay, so this will actually tighten it. But okay, so anyway. Um, so what I did was I got a pry bar. I still have my skid plate on here, so I can I can do this. But um, I got a pry bar and I pried up on the bottom of the motor. Okay, and boom. See, you can see you just saw that this moved up when I pried it. Oh, 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 oh. Let's drop the bike. Okay. 
But anyway, it's loose enough where everything lines up now. Okay, so you need if if you can't if you can't line if it's too tight and you can't line this up, you're gonna have to loosen the motor. Okay, now it lines up. So like I said, it was too tight. So and then just kind of look in there, stick it in. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, that was hard. <laughs> okay, now that we have the other side, now the other side is uh, is already lined up because we stuck the punch in there earlier. All we have to do is uh, just keep on going. So, so I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna get a six. Uh, I mean a five millimeter. Okay. And I'm just gonna wiggle the axle in. Okay, see, it's coming out. Okay, okay so. I see it. I think it's pretty close. I just kind of have to drive it home. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, something is still off. I need to push down on the, on the swing arm a little bit. Maybe pull up on the swing arm a little bit. Okay. Uh, maybe I just want to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Use a rubber hammer. I'm using a normal hammer. Boom, in. All right. Oh, okay. What a what a pain in the ass that was. Okay, we got some new grease in there. All the bearings are still good. All right. All right. That's that's it for now. <laughs> Break time. Okay, so let's go finish this. Uh, so what do we got to do next? Um, we got to tighten the sprocket. Uh, not the sprocket. The swing arm. So. You're going to go get your swing arm nut, put it back in, screw it back in as far as you can. I don't think there's any kind of washer on it. Okay, okay, so we're going to go ahead and tighten the swing arm now. <laughs> um, I got our little swing arm nut here. I'm going to stick that in there to keep that from moving. Or uh, it's a swing arm socket. Uh, and then I'm going to use a uh, six millimeter from the other side, on the other side. And then uh, just trying to tighten it by hand as much as we can. <clears throat> okay, that's kind of as tight as it'll go. Now we're okay. gonna want to torque. So okay, this is what I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, rear fork axle tighten. You know what? That's it. That's it right there. I was just looked at it. I was like, wait a minute. That's it. Okay. So I measured. I measured the diameter of that axle for the swing arm. I wish they would, this would just be in like a normal freaking English instead of Chinglish, man. It's in Chinglish, so it's it's hard to under to decipher what all this means, man. But so we we measured the diameter of the uh, of the swing arm bolt, and it was a 10 millimeter. That makes it a M10. So how many M10s do we have on this list? One support and connecting support for left and right foot peg. That that really doesn't sound like it. Um, and there's another one here, M10, rear fork axle tighten. And that sounds like I was kind of looking at some manual for the Suron, and it's and it mentioned the swing arm is called a rear fork, okay? Um, it's in America, in American English, it's called a swing arm, okay? <laughs> so that should be swing arm axle tighten, M10. So that's the M10. The rear axle for the wheel is an M12, so that's why... That's how that's how I can decipher this, okay? So it's a M10, it's a rear fork axle tighten. It's 26 foot pounds, okay? Or 35 newton meters. So, all right, we got it. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out, man. I, I'm telling you, man, that this stuff is hard to. It's hard to get, man. All right, I'll, you know, he's me up. Okay, so I thought it looked kind of funny because the the uh, the axle was sticking out a whole lot. There's actually a nut back there, and it's this nut right here. I was wondering, I thought this was the nut that goes over here, but it's not, okay? It's actually the one that goes here. So I need to go, I need to go loosen this again. So. This is, he's making his first time doing this, so it's kind of, kind of what the hell do you... It's okay, that's why I'm making this video, man, so you guys don't have the same problems as Hades Omega, man. You guys know what's going on, so... If you watch my video, then you know. 
find out the troubles that he's had. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put okay, we're gonna put this washer back. I'm not really sure which way it goes. That way, I guess. Okay, so there is a washer in there before you put the nut in. Okay, then you put this in, and then it shouldn't stick out too much. Okay, that looks about right. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna set my torque wrench adapter here to 26 foot pounds. Okay. It's 26 right there. It's important it's the right torque, you know, so you don't strip stuff. Alright, and then we're gonna go I'm gonna go get my breaker bar here. And we're gonna tighten this bad boy. Um, we probably want to tighten it on the other side. Tightening it on the other side. Okay, with the five millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, now we're gonna start torquing this side. Seven, nine, ten. Okay, on going. Hopefully, my tool can handle 26 foot pounds. I'm trying to be careful not. Pretty tight. It's only at 20 foot pounds, man. Come on. Oh no. It's 22 foot pounds. I'll just read it off to you guys. It's moving on the other side too. Okay. Woo! That's 26. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. You can see I had a I had some trouble even with the big breaker bar there. So I also had to hold it on the other side. So it's um, don't use this. This this makes it hard to hold it. I would use, I would use something yeah. like this to hold it. Okay, on the other side. Don't use a T handle. It, it makes it hard to do it because you're gonna you're kind of holding like this, and then you're trying to get the other one to do do the thing. So, so yeah, there you go. I got it in there. Ooh wee. Okay, swing arms on. So now we got to go put the swing arm linkage back in. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install the swing arm linkage bolt, the one that we took out. So before I put it in, I'm going to put some grease on it. It's probably too much grease right there. <laughs> okay. All right. And then, uh, okay, so remember those, uh, those washers I told you to take out so you didn't lose them earlier. Well, now you get a, it's time to put them back in. So we're going to put one here and then one on the other side. Okay, and then the little spacer, the little spacer in the middle is what uh, what holds it in okay and then what you're gonna want to do is so the nut was on this side and I think the bolt was on this side I don't think it really matters but just put the bolt in from the left of the bike you're gonna move the swing arm up why isn't it why doesn't it line up oh the shock the shock moves okay so you want to move the shock and the swing arm up until the holes line up okay <laughs> yeah, it doesn't light up. You, you might have to compress the spring a little bit. Oh my god, dude, what a what a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I got the I got a really long uh, pry bar here, and I got it. Uh, it's it's on the linkage. It's not on the adjuster. Don't put it on the adjuster. You might mess up the adjuster, and just use that to hold it up while you're while uh, use that to hold the shock up while you put the swing arm in. And if you can't, if it won't line up, you're going to have to put some torque on it, okay? And then it should go in. There we go. Boom. All right. Okay, I want to show you where I, where, I, where I did it. I don't think that this one, it shouldn't mess it up. It's not a so lot of So this is what I did. Forces, so. um, I put the pry bar here in between the swing arm, okay? There's this little, little channel here. 
it's got to be up above this, okay? And then you got to get it right in there, okay? Don't put it, don't put it on the adjuster because you're gonna mess the adjuster up. Make sure it's on the swing. Uh, make sure it's on the uh, the connecting link, okay? Right here. See that right here? Make sure it's right here, not on the adjuster. And I kind of moved it all the way to the jack. Oh, this. What is that? Oh, there's a plastic thing here. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, it didn't break it. Yeah, it didn't break it. <laughs> there's a, the plastic cover. I put it on top of the plastic cover. It was in the jack shaft. <laughs> it was on the plastic cover. Okay. Like that and like that. Okay. And then if you're having trouble lining up the the holes, uh, it's probably because the shock needs to move a little bit. And so you just move the shock up a little bit by pressing up on the pry bar like this. Like that. And you kind of have to move the swing arm and everything so it lines up. Okay, that's all I did. And it didn't take a lot of force, so. But uh, it helps if you have like a pry bar or a crowbar or something. Okay, so it's in there now. And then now, you gotta put, and make sure you put those washers back. You gotta put the nut back in. Okay. And uh, we're pretty much done almost. All right, he's making it here. So that, uh, that linkage has to be torqued at 20, uh, 22 foot pounds. Okay, I'm gonna put the nut back in. Be torqued at 22 foot pounds is what it said. Okay. If I remember correctly, that's a 12 millimeter. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and torque it. Here it is. Gonna kind of tighten it till it doesn't move anymore. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, there it is. Uh, uh, once again, don't use this. You want to use a. Uh, you want to use something like this to torque it because the other side will move. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't, but it did in my case. All right, there it is. It's in there. Should move freely. Okay. All right, so uh, we're pretty much close to done. All we've got to do is uh, we got to tighten the belt now. Okay.